Alrighty, hello again. So if you have been critical of, you know, the fat acceptance movement, health at every size, intuitive eating, all that stuff, inevitably, one of the things you'll encounter is people saying, well, you just don't understand whatever the topic happens to be. And I am willing to admit that I may have misunderstandings about something. But if I'm having misunderstandings about these topics, it's because the people promoting them are misrepresenting them or not making themselves sufficiently clear. And if you, like, if you look at, for example, health at every size, I, there's this idea that people have that it means that you could be health, healthy regardless of your size. And you'll see people referring to it as healthy at every size rather than health at every size because of this misunderstanding. And I think it's in, I think it's bullshit to say that you can be healthy at every size. Because if you have too much weight on your body, it's bad for your bones and joints. That alone dispels that idea. But apparently that's not what they mean. They apparently mean that a person of any size can get healthy. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I buy into that idea because I'm inclined to think that at a certain level of obesity, you will have done irreparable damage to yourself. But, but I certainly do agree that a person of any size can adopt a healthy lifestyle and work on improving their health. Now, if you want people to understand your message you need to promote it in the right way. You need to make yourself a lot more clear and you need to make your message easier to digest. One of the things that you'll encounter when somebody says you misunderstand it is they'll say, like I was told to read a couple of books, one on health at every size and another book on intuitive eating. And I'm poor, so I have absolutely zero desire to spend my money on those books. If the information is not available for free, I'm not interested, period. For me to want to spend money on a book, the subject has to be sufficiently interesting to me. So that's problem number one. Telling people to go read a book is the wrong approach if you want people to understand what it is that you're actually promoting. The other thing that people do is they will point you to some paper or study. And now I have some reading difficulties, so for me to get through like an academic paper or a scientific study, that's difficult. My brain just doesn't want to do it. Now, even I think people who don't have the kinds of reading issues I do are still not going to want to necessarily sit there and read through an academic paper or a scientific study. And I think that a lot of people just aren't, don't have the scientific literacy <clears throat> to be able to properly analyze a paper or a study to see if it has any validity, you know? And honestly, I think a lot of the people who are promoting certain studies are probably in the same boat they find a study that where the conclusions of the study coincide with what they already believe and they go, see, look, the study says. And it's like, well, no, that's crap. Just because you can find studies that say all kinds of things. I mean, there's a study that says that, vac that vaccines cause autism and we know that that's bullshit. So you can find all kinds of poorly designed studies that can support just about any conclusion. So, so it's important to be able to understand enough about studies and how they're conducted to be able to properly analyze these studies. And I think most people are not equipped to do that. So, so telling people, go read this paper, that's not conducive to really getting your message across. If people are not going to want to take the time to read through an entire, you know, academic paper, which is probably going to be boring to them, and where they may not fully understand what the paper's even saying. 
you have people need to get much much better at relaying their message if you want so just really if you want people to really understand what health at every size is and what intuitive eating is then do much better at distilling down your message so you can put it into a into a social media friendly package like a little sound bite because unfortunately I think these days a lot of people just don't have the attention span to read through an, uh, an, an entire paper or they just don't care enough to want to go slog through an entire paper or whatever. And the people who are promoting health at every size and intuitive eating and all this stuff, they're not doing a good enough job at getting their message across. The person who told me to go read those two books pointed me to the website, I think it's intuitiveeating.com or .org, I can't remember. But this website has like the 10 principles of intuitive eating. And which I think, I'm actually thinking of doing a video on it and going through each of the 10 principles and whether I agree or not. But one of them is that you should eat more fruits and vegetables. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody who promotes intuitive eating say that you should eat fruits and vegetables. None of the posts that I've seen from these like dietitians who promote intuitive eating are they saying eat more fruits and vegetables. I have never seen that. So I don't know. And I really kind of wonder if if maybe even the proponents of these things don't fully understand it. Yeah, I have to really wonder about that if if you get people who maybe latch on to these topics based on a misunderstanding because you get people who eat who eat crappy food and are obese and then they latch on to something like health at every size and intuitive eating because they feel like it gives them a green light to keep eating unhealthy food and not have to worry about losing weight. I don't know. Maybe that's where part of the misunderstanding comes from <clears throat> is from folks who are promoting this stuff based on a misunderstanding. That's a possibility. Regardless, there seems to be a misunderstanding of these topics going along. And so you can't fault people like me for misunderstanding it if the people who are promoting it are not promoting it correctly. And so if you really want to convince people that your approach is the correct approach, you're going to have to do make you're going to have to make everything a lot more accessible to people. Telling people to go read a book, that's not accessible. Telling people to go read, you know, an academic a boring academic paper, that's not a good approach either. It needs to be something that can be digested easily by people. You know, that's just reality. So, I I think that's it for. I think that's it for this video. But yeah, just to, like I said, if you want people to understand your message, you need to do a better job of getting your message across. Um. You know, like, I really like the approach of Alan Roberts at Every Damn Day Fitness. His videos are fairly short, and he, he makes no bones about it, and his message should be pretty fucking clear. He, you know, he speaks, he just gets right to the fucking point. So, so yes, do a better job of promoting your message, and then we can have a discussion as to whether, whether what you're promoting is good or bad, and then we're not going to have to deal with you coming back with, but you just don't understand it. <sighs> Alrighty then. 
I will see you on the next one. Please follow me if you like, and all my social media thingies will be in the video description, and I will see you later.